Okay, Ilya, so Fencing 101, if you could describe fencing, how would you describe it? Fencing has uh, many aspects, but it's really a kind of combat with swords. It's evolved from its origins of sword fight to sport. What are the three types? We have three types. There's foil, uh, you hit with the point. Epe, it's a little bit bigger. The target is the whole body and saber. You touch with the edge of the blade. Epe is the newest event in uh, the Olympic program. It entered in 1900. The target's the whole body. It's scored electronically. You depress the button on anywhere in your opponent's body to get a point. Foil evolved from practice sword. So the point was foiled. Uh, it used to have a leather cover. The modern one is an electronic button. So when you depress the button on the target, which would be a vest that you wear on the torso, you'd score a point. Some touches can land off target. So on the mask, arms or legs, but they don't score a point. Well, Sabre has been part of every modern Olympic game since 1896. One of the few sports to be in all the Olympic games. With Sabre, we touch with the edge of the blade and with the point, but mostly with the edge. Sabre is the fastest of all the sports because it's easier to hit and quite difficult to defend. In Europe, this is a wildly popular sport and has been for many, many years. What are some of the misconceptions, do you think, about fencing, perhaps here in North America? Here we don't have enough participants. There's probably a few thousand in the province. The more people, you know, grab a foil, play a game, or they see their kids do it, they join as adult participants, we see it uh, has benefit for themselves and then also for the fencing community. What kind of people would you say are attracted to fencing? All sorts. There's a growing veteran community of fencing, so over 50 plus. And young kids, five years old, like it. Uh, people that are switching from other sports come into fencing yeah. and people that come in young and train to compete. So there's a great variety of people that participate in fencing. How would people start if they wanted to get involved in fencing and were seeking out something like what you offer here at Gladiators? Call the club. Usually we arrange an individual lesson to start and then we bring them to a group and they work with the assistant coach and then work into the group. We do the full work together but then the technical needs vary according to each person we apply it by having practice boats. Do you ever have a situation, say somebody wants to try it, but they're not sure if they want to sign up? Do you have any kind of tryout process? Typically, there's like points in the season where we have more beginners like in September and January, but they can start any time. We just find an assistant coach or a head coach. We find a time to arrange the lesson, and we can work you into a group. The best way is to let someone try put a foil or a saber in the kid's hand or the adult. And that's the best way because you get a feeling of the sport when you do it. And if you do it a few times, right away you know, the parents ask me, is, is the, is, should the kids sign up? And I always ask the kid because they're gonna tell you if they're excited. Gladiators Fencing Club is a proud member of Sport Calgary. Our website is gladiators.ca and you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. And if you would like to learn more about this sport or any other activity, just check out Sport Calgary's website at sportcalgary.ca.